Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is CB Harris. Today we're going to take a look at this Glock 17. We're going to change out some parts. We're going to try to make the trigger just a little bit better. Now the total cost of these parts is about $21, maybe $21 and some change. And all of these parts were able to be purchased at Midway USA. No problems getting them. Uh, they have them in stock. First thing we need to do, we're going to make sure that this thing is cleared out. Uh, it's always important to clear out your firearms before you do any kind of cleaning, maintenance, installing new parts, things like that. That's when accidents tend to happen. You don't think there's any live rounds in it and you can make a mistake at that point. So be extra vigilant. Make sure that you clear out your firearms before doing any type of maintenance or cleaning. You see, there is no magazine, there is no round, and now we can actually start to disassemble. But before we do that, we're gonna check this thing. We're gonna see what the trigger pull is currently with all the factory parts installed. Okay, now that we've done that, it's time to disassemble. If you're unaware of how to disassemble your Glock, I'll put a link up here as well as down in the description. Uh, it's very simple. You're only gonna need one tool and that is a punch or a Glock tool if you happen to have one of those. So, let's get onto that and we're gonna just swap out all these parts. I'm gonna kind of talk about some key things when we get to them. So be sure you keep track of all of your pins, springs, things like that. You don't wanna lose them. They're fairly inexpensive to replace, but you don't have to as long as you keep track of them and don't lose them. So the parts we're gonna be replacing are back here on this trigger assembly. And we're going to be replacing our trigger spring, which is this spring right here, as well as the connector, which is this piece right there. Once we have those off of there, we're gonna get our new parts. This is the new connector, and this is from Zev Technologies. This is the race connector. It's typically used in competition guns. If you use the Zev Technologies, their whole spring pack with this, in theory, it should take the trigger pull down to two pounds. Now, I don't really want that. I'm not looking for a race gun. I'm still looking for something I can use for home defense. I just want the trigger to be a little bit better. I don't know that you can really tell by looking at it, but feeling it, you can feel that it is a lot slicker. It's a lot more smooth, and it has a lot better finish to it. It also has these holes which allow debris, dust, dirt, grease, grime, that kind of thing to move out of the way and maybe not inhibit the movement of your trigger as much. So we're gonna put this piece in as well as our new spring. Now it sounds counterintuitive, but this spring is actually a little bit more powerful than the factory spring. So we're changing this trigger spring and you think, well, it's, it's more powerful. That, I'm not sure that that would make any sense. With a Glock trigger, it actually, your trigger spring kind of preloads. It kind of helps pull the trigger for you a little bit. So a more powerful, powerful spring will actually lighten the trigger just a touch. Okay, once we have that in, we're just gonna put everything back together here. Okay, and now we're ready to move on to our frame. The part that we're gonna be changing on our frame is our safety plunger spring. Part of pulling the trigger is actually pushing that safety plunger out of the way. We're gonna make a, a little bit better trigger by using a lighter spring on that safety plunger. And this is the spring that we're talking about. It's a very small spring, so you may wanna hang on to that one thing I like to do is if I'm changing out any parts, I hang on to the old parts. That way if something goes wrong, if it doesn't work like I expect it to, or if I break something, I still have something to fall back on. So what we have here, this is the new spring. As you can see, aesthetically it's just a different color. It doesn't 
you know, really you can't tell the difference in it without feeling it. If you kind of squeeze them a little bit, you can feel that the new spring is just a hair lighter than the old one. So let's get this thing in here. Ooh, try not to lose it. Assemble the barrel, guide rod in. So now that we've got everything back together, we need to do a function check. Make sure we put everything back together the way it was supposed to be put back together. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to pull the trigger. We're going to pull the slide back and release it. Now release the trigger slowly, listening for the reset. Pull the trigger again. I normally do this a couple of times. I'll lock the slide to the rear, make sure that it locks properly. So now let's check it out. Let's see if we improve the trigger at all. So it looks like we've reduced the weight of this trigger by just about a pound even. So not bad really. It's still a good self-defense type trigger. We're sitting at four pounds, about 12 ounces roughly. And it's not bad for self-defense, home defense, that sort of thing. I really wouldn't want too much lighter than that for this type of handgun. So I appreciate you guys watching the show. If you liked it, be sure to like and share the video. It's always appreciated when you guys do that. If you're not a subscriber and you want to become one, find that subscribe button and give it a big old click and then come back next time for more videos. Also check us out. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Google Plus as well. And remember that your mind, that is your most important tool. So it's always important to be armed with information. Until next time, take care and be safe.